Hello, everyone. This is Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander. And in this week's five minute tips, I'm going to show you how to branch on a Google form using four simple steps. So let's get started. I'm going to create a Google form, going to my new button in Google Drive, more and Google Forms. Of course, there's several ways to get to a blank Google form, so just find whichever way you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and label this branching. Now, of course, if I was doing a true form, I would label it whatever I want to label it and put whatever quiz or whatever I was doing. But I just want to show you a very quick example of branching. So the very first step of branching is to do all of your questions the one that you want to ask and whatever you want to branch. Now, when we say branching, you may think about it like a choose your own adventure story from the 80s and 90s. And I know they're back these days where what you're doing is whatever someone answers for this question will lead them down a certain path. So if you really think about it, this opens up Google Forms to a whole new world of possibilities. You can reteach by using a video in the middle of a form. If you're doing a um, digital breakout, it can lead to certain areas depending on the, the question that they ask. It's so many different things you can do. So I'm gonna do mine like a survey question. So I have untitled question right here. I'm going to come here and say, how did you like the training? So I'm going to make this multiple choice as you saw that it was. And I'm gonna come here for my first option. I'm gonna say it was awesome. My second option, I'm gonna say, okay. My third option, I'm gonna say horrible. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue with the question. So if they say awesome, where do I want them to go? Okay, where do I want them to go? Horrible, where do I want them to go? So I'm gonna come here and hit the plus sign. And now I'm going to say, why was it awesome? Sure, paragraph, because short answer is just not enough to tell me how awesome it is. So I'm gonna cop, duplicate this question. <coughs> and I'm going to say, why was it okay? And I'm gonna duplicate one more time and say, why was it horrible? Okay, so I have all my questions. Notice that these are required. They don't have to be if you don't care if they answer the second question, but I do. So I'm going to keep them all here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another question to continue my survey. So let's say my second real question may be, um, what time do you think the session should have started? I'm just completely making that up from my brain. So, okay, so that's gonna continue the quiz and I'll make this a, um, a time question. Okay, so I have my tree and my branches, or you can think about it as my mama question and my baby questions, my main question and my sub questions. So however you wanna think about that. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come back up here and click on the main question. <clears throat> My second step is I need to make each one of these a section by itself. So I'm going to click on the question, mainly just to activate this box. And I'm gonna hit this equal sign to add a section. Now notice it made section two of two. I'm gonna delete this. If I wanna call it awesome, I can. If I wanna just leave it blank, I could. I'm gonna click on the question itself and hit the equal sign. On this one, just to show you, I'm just gonna delete untitled section. Click on the question itself to activate that box. Hit the equal sign. Delete untitled question. Click on the question itself. Hit the equal sign. So usually I would go a little bit slower with that, but since this is a video, you can definitely pause it. So I'm gonna go ahead or rewind it, of course. 
So I'm going to do the untitled section, and this, this is the rest of my quiz or my survey. So I've done step one, create all the questions. I've done step two, make each one a section by itself. Now I'm going to do section three. It's only four steps. So the fourth step, I'm going to come here to the hot dogs on the main question. And I'm going to say, click, go to section based on answer. Now that I've done that, for each answer choice, it gives me an option. These are my section numbers, section two, section three, and section four. Now you're going to see why it may be easier for you to name these in a second. So if they say awesome, I want them to go to section two. So when I click here, I'm going to find section two. Now notice because I named it, you see awesome here. So that may make it a little bit easier for you especially when you first do your branches for the first and second time. So if you say, okay, I want you to go to section three, why was it okay? And if you say horrible, I want you to go to section four. And that was this one, why was it horrible? So now I do wanna say that if you were doing something like a reteach in the middle of a quiz, you can come here and I can put the same sections. So I can say if you get the answer right, move on with the quiz. If you get the section wrong, go to the, the reteach part. Just to let you know. Let's see, which one did I have to change? Three? There we go. All right. The fourth step is after they go to the branch, I need to let the form know where to go after that. Let me get rid of this. So after they go to awesome, where do I want them to go? After they go to okay, where do I want them to go? After they go horrible, where do I want them to go? So after awesome, which is section two, so I'm gonna go to section two. Notice right here in the middle, before we get to section three, it says, after section two, where do you want it to go? So I'm gonna click here and say, I want it to go to section five. What in the world is section five? Section five is where we continue the survey. After section three, go to section five. Now you've already told me that I was horrible and why I was horrible. So I'm just gonna have you submit. There's really nothing else you need to tell me. We're done with each other, right? So there you go. I'm gonna give you a tip on this if you were doing it with a video for reteaching in a second. So. That's branching. Now, you never sing out something as branch without testing it out. So let's test it. I'm gonna click on the eyeball to go to the real form. Awesome, next. Why was it awesome, next, uh oh. And then, what time? I'm gonna click back and back, and I am going to choose okay, next. Why was it okay? Next time. Back and back. And you want to use this back button instead of this one because this one sometimes brings you all the way back to the beginning of the form. And if you have a branching question in the middle of your quiz, that can be a little time consuming. Horrible. Why was it horrible? I remember I said, we're done with each other. Just go ahead and submit. So there you go. My branch worked perfectly. I am ready to send this out. So one little, I guess, tip. Let's say I wanted to send you to a video. So I'm going to click the main question and I'm going to add a video underneath it. I'm just going to look up any old video. Just act like this is on content, will ya? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe we're talking about form breeze. Okay, so this is the video. Now, what I want is if they answer awesome, I want them to continue to section five because obviously awesome is the right answer. But if they answer okay or horrible, I want them to go to the video. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I need to make the video a section by itself. So I'm going to hit the equal sign. So now video is in a section by itself. I'm going to call this section video. So if they answer OK, I'm going to send them to video. If they answer horrible, I'm going to send them to video. 
But what I want to do is when they get to video, I actually want to make sure they watch the video and don't just like move on with the test or go back to answer the question right. So what I may do here in the video is add another question in this section. And the question may be something like, what breed did the video say loves the form? I don't know, whatever. I don't know why I capitalized form, but there you go. So then I'll make some answer choices. And what I can do is another bridge. So I can say if they say um, pug or if they say pit bull, So I can also make this a go to section based on answer. And I can say if they answer pug, they got it right. So I can either send them back to the question to get the question right, or I could just say continue with the quiz. And then if they get it wrong, up to you, right? Just continue with the quiz. You can't go back to answer the question right. So you have a whole bunch of different options for using this. But that is, in a nutshell, how you use branching on my website, educatoralexander.com. If you go to Presentations, Tech Tools, and click on Google. And I'm sorry, my voice is a little weird because I just got over a sickness. If you scroll down, you see Google Form Branching for Quick Steps. So in written out, these are your four quick steps for branching. So thank you so much for this five minute tips. So I'm sure we went just a little over five minutes, but for your five minute tips on Google Forms branching, good luck.